What's up guys? Super excited to show you one of our new favorite pieces of equipment that we got. Uh, this is the Rhino Arc 2 motorized head and slider system. We've had this for about eight months and I will tell you we have gotten some amazing shots on our shoots. Our clients are always thrilled uh, with what we've been able to add uh, in terms of really creative, high-end, awesome B-roll. Um, so this is the system that we picked up. Uh, you see we have this huge case here. Um, they do have a smaller case that's easier to travel with, but this is their uh, heavy duty travel case and we fly a lot for shoots. So I'm actually able to check this in on airlines. Uh, it's underneath the 50 pound overweight limit, which is perfect. And you can see the outside of this case is totally beat up. It's, it's definitely, uh, you know, had some hits uh, on, on the plane, but everything inside is untouched and uh, works completely great. So it does its job, it protects. Um, and you know what, if it has some scratch on the outside, that's totally fine with me. So what we ended up getting was, we have the 42 inch uh, Pro slider, which has stainless steel rods. They also make a carbon fiber version, which is a little bit lighter, easy to carry, but the stainless steel will allow you to have a heavier camera on top, um, you know, if you're not just using a mirrorless or a DSLR, that's really helpful. If you have a bunch of attachments in your camera, that's also helpful. Uh, it also has a slot here for their 24 inch slider. We don't have one of those, so we just throw a set of tripod legs in here, which you can use for mounting uh, the rails. So you see here on the bottom, they have three threaded holes on the rails with these little turn screws on top, which are really easy to tighten. So you can kind of choose how you want to um, balance this, whether you want to use two light stands, three light stands, tripod legs, and there's also some threaded screws on the, on the very ends too if you want to put stands there, as well as these little legs here that you can loosen and if you want to put it on the ground for some ground level shots, that's pretty easy to do as well. Next, we have the high speed motor. Uh, they make a high speed motor and a high torque motor. The high speed motor will get you from point A to point B faster on the rail system. The high torque motor will allow you to uh, actually put the rails at an incline and have your camera kind of do these vertical um, or diagonal uh, camera moves. It doesn't move as quickly from point A to point B and um, we haven't really found a need to have those incline shots yet, but we are definitely planning on picking up a high torque motor in the future and we will do some cool tests and show you some shots when we do get that. But for now, we have the high speed motor. It clips onto uh, the end of the rail and then there's a cable that feeds it to the head, which brings us to the star of the show, the Arc 2 head. Um, this thing is a diesel. It is super awesome and super easy to use. Uh, you see it just has one threaded hole on the bottom, which goes into the middle of the slider. And actually when you turn it on, it has an option where you just set it on top of the hole and it's gonna actually self tighten and make sure that it's not stripping anything and that it's nice and secure. Um, so you turn it on and you just say ready to mount and you click mount on and it will actually has a motor inside that will tighten it to the rails. Uh, you have your tripod plate here. You can put you know any camera on that. It has, I forget what the exact weight limit is, but it's, it's pretty heavy duty. Um, and the best part about this is you don't need an app. Uh, I know a lot of the other motorized slider, sliders, you need to have an app and you need to do all this crazy setup to get your, your move ready. You can stick whatever camera on here, you turn it on, it auto calibrates once you have everything set up, and then you choose what type of move you want to do. Are you doing a video, are you doing a time lapse? You set your keyframes, you hit start, and you're ready to go. So we've timed this out and it takes uh, approximately a little under five minutes to get this whole system set up and then about another five minutes to get the camera on and set your move. So in under 10 minutes, you can have this thing in your case uh, and from within 10 minutes, have it completely set up and ready for your first move, which is pretty awesome because I'm sure you guys all know that sometimes uh, you run out of time and you don't have all the time in the world to shoot B-roll. So to be able to get a really high quality shot in uh, a pretty quick amount of time is huge for us. Um, our clients have loved everything that we've shot with this. Um, and honestly, the coolest part is that we've been able to shoot shots that we wouldn't be able to do manually. We've had some great sliders in the past. We've had, you know, Philip Bloom Pocket Dolly, um, really high quality sliders that have very smooth movements. But if you wanna do something where you're sliding, you're panning and tilting all in one move, you need to have <laughs> some really good hands to be able to do that smoothly. And it's probably still gonna take you at least 10 takes to get something that looks you know, professional and high quality that you'd feel comfortable putting in a final video. Whereas this, 
you set your two keyframes and it does all the work itself, you're getting, you're pretty much getting your shot first take every time. So it might take a little bit longer than, you know, a manual slider to get everything set up. But once it's set up, you can move this thing around and, and, and knock out shot after shot um, in, in very little time. So uh, it's tough for me to just explain how cool this is by just pointing to pieces. So we're actually gonna take you to a shoot we had recently um, where we use this for some of the B-roll and we're gonna show you one of the shots that we got with it and how cool it looks and how easy it was to do. So check it out. All right, so today we're gonna grab a quick B-roll shot of our actor, handsome gentleman over here reading the book. Um, we're using Rhino's slider with the new Arc 2 head. Uh, what basically we're gonna do is, we've got an 85 millimeter lens on here. This is the Sony a7S III. We're shooting uh, 60p, 4K. We're gonna use this pot and these flowers as a reveal on the actor. So he'll be in focus the whole time. Um, this pot's a dark color, so it'll almost be like a reveal from black. And then these flowers are gonna be out of focus, but create just some nice depth to the shot. So, um, I don't know how familiar you guys are with this, but uh, this, Head is super easy to set up your shot with. Uh, we just click video. We're gonna do a new move. We're gonna set our keyframe. So right now, um, I just wanna make sure, yep, all you can see is the color of the pot. It's out of focus, so it basically looks like black, dark than that. We're gonna set our keyframe one, and then we're gonna slide this down the track. Down to here. I'm gonna pan the head a little bit to get them nice and center framed, and I'm gonna pan up a little bit. So just a slight movement. Um, we're gonna just grab focus, okay. Let's put the manual now. Um, so he's in focus. We'll save that keyframe. Um, next 12 seconds, the shortest we can do, 12 seconds is fine. Do a 12 second move. Uh, we're not gonna loop it. All right, let's go to start move gonna move back into position. All right, I'm gonna hit record, you ready? Mm -hmm. Awesome. We're recording, we're gonna start our move. Comes the reveal. And turn the page. And that's the shot. We'll show you guys the uh, the final graded piece at the end of this video.